Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a splash screen for your game in Unity. Now, it is important that you have a paid version. I do not believe it works at all for a non-paid version, or at least at the minimum you're meant to keep uh, the Unity logo. So, I've already made mine. I'm going to tell you how you need to do it. You either need GIMP, Paint, not Paint, Photoshop, or some other image editing software that allows you to have transparency. Um, I'll show you the one I made. It's right here. You need to make everything transparent except for what you want shown. So if you have tutorial game by Nick made with Unity, you want the letters to be opaque and the whole entire background to be transparent. And you'll see why. Um, but once you make that export as a PNG, I made this 1920 by 1080. It does not appear that's what that made it down there, but <clears throat> that's how I exported it. If you do a JPEG, it might have a lower quality. It might be noticeable, might not be. PNG will give you one of the highest qualities you can get. Um, when you, you just need to drag it over to Unity. Mine is right here. When you go to it, you need to change the texture type to Sprite. Right here, go down to the bottom, apply. And now we have the transparency. As you can see, the only things that are not transparent are the letters, they're opaque. That's exactly what we want. Then usually you would go file, build settings, and then player settings. I've already opened that window right here. And then you want to go to player, splash image, and then go down here. I have turned off showing the Unity logo. Like I said, you can only do this in the paid version. Usually the Unity logo plays no matter what. I've turned it off. And then we can add in a logo right here. When I go to select it, the sprite image is going to show up. That's what we want. We can change the duration to whatever we want. So I'll do 3.5 seconds. So it's nice and long. And then we have a background color right here. We're going to go ahead and set it to white. Blur background image. I mean, it's white. So you can do a background image too if you would like. If you want to have, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to think of it. A gradient, or if you want to do like a cool image of your game and then have the text over it, or simply your logo, whatever. I believe this is going to be centered no matter what. Then you would put that there, and whatever you want to move here. And finally, we have. The animation, which static means it doesn't move, it doesn't fade in or out, dolly fades in and kind of moves in. Um, overlay opacity, obviously one is opaque, zero is completely transparent so you wouldn't be able to see it. You can do something in the middle, so these might not be as obvious. But those settings are fine. So I'm going to go export this. Actually, you can just preview it here. As you can see, that's what it looked like. I don't know why it made the background color a grayish color. Maybe we should do dark on light. There you go. So I can also show you what static would look like. You can preview that. Okay, it didn't zoom, it still fades. Um, we could do, I mean, if, if you show the uh, Unity logo, if you put all sequential, you can change how long it plays. You can do two and two. And I just changed out of that. Oh, there we go. It's made with Unity etc 
you can play around with this. I don't like showing the Unity logo. Um, up here, actually, never mind. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I'll see you guys in the next video.